Let's share in the experience of my first dream that was significant enough to have written down from this month. Between 12.20 and 6.48 a.m. on Monday the 30th of December 2019, I entered and left the dream through the same analgesic to anesthetic, anesthetic to analgesic, blissful surrounding of a donut of 216 eight-sided colorful shapes. Closest to me were 72 neon ones, in between were 72 metallic ones, and on the outer were 72 meta ones. I went to those ones. I went to a place that was a moss-lined trail leading up to a grassy knoll that had nothing but that grass, except for three oak trees interwoven with holly, nine black deer visited me where we partook a pomegranate juice in a golden chalice, on a silver dish, topped with eleven oat, wheat, and pumpkin loaves that were flavored by clove and honey. There was a whiteness that fell down. It was like vegetable sap, white powder, and white crystals bestowing me with many sorts of good feelings. Many. Very intense sorts of feelings that reached unto a level which I don't think one could safely take a substance to cause such. The deer spoke as one and told me that I would remember no more, and I returned as before. I awoke, fully energized till dawn arisens, and sunrise had passed, despite being kept awake most of the night by noise. Now we can say that the Holy Grail, its goldenness, was as its solar aspect. And the platter of plenty, the silver as the moon, the positive and the negative together, the feed of the spiritual substance, and perhaps there were mysteries that I experienced, which I was unable to even properly think about later. So that was it. Perhaps I was just not ready for what was to follow. The deer were as Yule, the night of Yule. The trees were as the lunar night of the month, the third of the fifth month. The eight sides, well, it was the eighth of Hanukkah. Not that I celebrate that, but that's the first thing that comes to mind. The 216 is a number traditionally attributed to bones. Neon being like cardinal, fixed, metallic, mate ones. The different psychological types seen in different ways. 
the path of ascent. Well, isn't that what we all should be following upon? We can look at symbolism of the blood and flesh in the sacred meal, the transubstantiation or consecration, as you would. Because everything matter if upon the right principles is spiritual. Now, the holly is said to be dominant at the solstice of winter and the solstice of summer. The holly is the oak is said to be the, you know, at the peak of its power. And pomegranate can be said to be a symbol of dreams. Clove, healing. Pumpkin, abundance. Wheat, repentance. Oat, survival. And there's other things that we can say about this. But within our bodies, and obviously the brains within those bodies, are the chemicals for the experience. Experiences that having been prescribed a different painkillers and such over the years, which I've abandoned, by the way, um, even the best, these are experiences that are without that drag, without that lag, without that feeling of being forced to feel even good. An even greater one that you are conscious of. But the cycles and forces and living things join together in the spiritual life. What is your understanding and experience thereof?